Today, public work crews set up barricades in preparation for the Mardi Gras celebrations happening over the weekend. News 10's Danielle Johnson joins us live from downtown Lafayette. So, Danielle, you were there this morning watching them put out the barricades. What should drivers know? Hey, Caroline and Sylvia, we are here. I'm here in downtown Lafayette where this morning public work crew, they started putting out barricades, setting up for this weekend's Mardi Gras festivities. And all those, these although these barricades are a main item for protection for attendees at the parades, LPD, Lafayette Police Department say they are encouraging you to take extra precaution in this weekend's event. Public work crews set up barricades early Thursday morning in preparation for upcoming weekend Mardi Gras celebrations. Robin Green with the Lafayette Police Department says officers are helping to make sure attendees have a fun but safe experience. You can find LPD stopping points along the parade route. We have a command post at the Vermilion Street Fire Station. We also have one located by Station 5 at uh, Johnson and St. Julian, and the third one will be at college by the Albersons. For your safety, here are a list of items prohibited from the parade. Anything that's manufactured to make a loud popping noise, silly string, rollerblades, bicycles, and skateboards. Everyone should also stay away from barricades and prevent crossing over or under them. We are asking that we, they do not put children over the barricades to grab items that are in the roadway during the, while the parade is passing. We're asking adults and children not to straddle the barricades. We don't want anybody to fall and get hurt. We are also asking that people do not go underneath the barricades in attempts to grab items. Green says in instances where a child is lost or missing, take a picture of your child to show to law enforcement. Also, place an identification card in their pocket. On that piece of paper, we like to have the child's name and a concerned adult, a concerned adult's name and a phone number where we can reach that person to let them know, hey, we have your kid. And last but not least, Green says there are posts for disabled parade attendees to enjoy the festivities. Space is limited, so it's on a first come, first serve basis, but we do have an area sectored off just for them. Now, setting up for the parades is a two day process. It started this morning at 8. It will uh, continue until tomorrow morning, Friday at 8 a.m. Also, it would also happen again next weekend. Be sure to look for more information on our website, KOFY.com. Here in Lafayette, Daniel Johnson, KOFY News 10.